On this Juneteenth, the day that commemorates the end of slavery in the U.S., we end with Chip Reed's story of an American hero. This shows Harriet Tubman working in the timber fields. And she would Angela Crenshaw is with the new Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center on the eastern shore of Maryland, where Tubman's legendary life is on vivid display. What impresses you most about Harriet Tubman? Her resilience. Uh, she got knocked down so many times, but she kept standing up. Born into slavery, as a young girl, Tubman worked in the backwoods in brutal conditions. So she had to know outdoor survival. That became a lifesaver when she escaped slavery at age 27 and made the arduous journey to Pennsylvania and freedom. Over the next decade, she repeatedly risked her life, returning to Maryland about a dozen times, rescuing more than 70 family members and friends, guiding them north along the Underground Railroad, a secret network of trails, waterways, and safe houses. Tina Wyatt, a direct descendant of Tubman, brought her grandchildren here to teach them about their heroic relative. What's it like to be a direct descendant of Harriet Tubman? Well, it's really exciting. It's awesome. Awesome. Wyatt took us to the nearby Bucktown Village store, where as a child, Tubman was hit in the head by a heavy weight thrown by a slave owner. Almost killed her. That's where we met Jay Meredith, who has turned the store into a Tubman museum. His ancestors owned slaves in this area. Enslaved, about five foot tall, and hunted. When you think about Tubman and the adversities that she overcame, that's phenomenal. Love, faith, family, human rights, that's her legacy. A descendant of slaves and a descendant of slave owners, both working to honor an American hero. Chip Reed, CBS News, Church Creek, Maryland.